So let's start off with the question from the title of your panel. Can a free trial be at the same time a win for the customer and for the company? Yeah, that's a very fundamental question uh, nowadays. Um, obviously, you want to uh, attract uh, more users to your platform. And one good way of doing so is to let them experience uh, your content. So the for free. For free. For free. In, in many cases, obviously, uh, YouTube has been establishing you know, some practices yes. for some time. And uh, people appreciate to uh, get a, a sneak peek uh, mm -hmm. of the content itself. Uh, people want to know what they're buying. If they want to buy it, yes, in that's terms that's of OTT, a, yeah, that's a very uh, fair point. You know, it's a, there's quite some abundance of content uh, nowadays. Uh, so before you really commit uh, to uh, to paying, uh, you want to get that that of first course. experience. It's like buying a car. You want to try it first. You Absolutely, drive it yeah, around. that's a, that's yeah. a great great example. You, uh, you you do a first tour, yes. um, and once you did that tour, potentially you, you're going to keep it. And, and what is quite interesting is that now the, the technology allows you to have a very frictionless you know, onboarding experience. So you, you can easily uh, create your account, uh, leave your payment details, uh, because that's you know, the benefit. We, we only sell digital content, so yeah. it's, a, uh, it's a limited commit uh, that uh, you are ready to do as an organization. And then your consumers can get in, uh, experiment it, and after a set period, and you have to define that period based on your particular use case. If you're in sports, you tend to have a very short period. If you are into more um, uh, films and movies, Fiction, uh, yeah. fictions, uh, you'd rather extend a little bit that period and then people likely uh, will stay. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, if you could choose one thing, what do you think makes a customer stay if we're talking about OTTs? Is it user experience overall or is it plain just a content, the quality of the content? Well, that's obviously a million dollar questions or a <laughs> billion dollar questions uh, that you ask me now. Uh, so. Uh, uh, what, what we see is that there's not one solution for one customer. Uh, what is very important is to have a good set of analytics around your uh, users mm -hmm. and the different profiles that you have. So depending on um, the age profile, where they've been buying, you know, did they subscribe through iOS or Android or do, did they subscribe through the web, what type of uh, content uh, mm -hmm. they like themselves. Um, how frequently are they joining to your platform? Do they have some customer care experience? Mm -hmm. Did they contact your customer care? Uh, you may try to um, cluster them in different groups mm -hmm. and to create the right marketing campaigns toward them. So some indeed may be more content focused uh, and you need to keep them you know, with the fresh content that you are putting on your platform. Keep them awake all the time. Keep them yeah. absolutely awake and excited about all the latest that you've yes. been bringing. Uh, some are more about the diversity of the connection, you know, to, to your point about um, UX. Uh, people really like to watch on their mobile phone or where they connect from home, you know, on their Chromecast device, these kind of things. So the UX is also very important. Um, and some are more about, let's say, the breadth at large of the content, you know, it's like uh, this uh, uh, laid back experience, you know, you get back home, you, you switch on the TV or you switch on your phone, you scroll and then you pick up one piece of content. Yes. It may not be the best quality content, but you don't want to think too much and yes. you just want to have a, a good show that night. Mm -hmm. So you need to model uh, some of these uh, different users. Uh, and now the technology really allows this. Um, that's what we do at Kling uh, for now quite a while, uh, to have this kind of user profiling uh, to um, target best in a way your user. Mm -hmm. So you do have an answer to a million dollar question. We uh, definitely, <laughs> uh, absolutely have some answers uh, and, and more and more we have some of these answers. Uh, it's really important that we continue as an industry to build these answers um, uh, because there's a, a, a massive shift of, of business. We are moving from traditional broadcasters. If we, if we look in the US, you know, the, the Comcast, the AT&T uh, are now a bit under threat in a way by Amazon, Apple and, and Netflix. And same goes into Europe. You know, for long we mm -hmm, felt, OK, mm -hmm. these guys are far away in the US. But the truth is that many of these platforms are coming very mm -hmm. fast to uh, all of our uh, markets. Uh, they have thousands of engineers. They have been investing hundreds of millions in, in that technology. And that's what, let's say, the companies like Kling are, are providing is a little bit of the technologies that the best of breeds like Apple and Netflix are also building themselves.
Well, I wish you all the best. Uh, good luck. You're going to need it. Thanks and for uh, having us here. It's quite an incredible setup. Uh, first time at uh, NEM, but so far it's uh, an excellent uh, time to be here. Great. Merci. Merci beaucoup.